Okay, let's get at it. Lunch for your trip, your trek from northern Maine to southern <laughs> Georgia, is it? Yes, ma'am. Your best wishes and have a wonderful, wonderful time to come back with all kinds of funny stories about the kooks that you met <laughs> and the good people <laughs> and the Boy Scouts somewhere along the way. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. From one set of lovebirds to another, good luck. We know you'll do a great job and you'll have a lot of fun doing it. And if you don't get a divorce halfway through it, you'll be stronger for it. <laughs> good journeys and many good experiences. We'll be thinking about you all the way. And we wish we could be with you because we really, 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 really do not want to do 2,193 miles. Well, we know you do, so we know you'll do a great job. Bye. Bye. Good luck on your guys' crazy adventure of a lifetime. I know you guys are going to kick the trail's butt. You guys are crazy. I know I wouldn't be able to walk for, hike for six months in the woods, no breaks, but more power to you. That's amazing. Hopefully you guys are all ready and packed and have everything you need and uh, are ready to go. Good luck, have fun, don't kill each other, and hopefully I'll see you guys in August. Thanks for the Uber to the airport. <laughs> of course! <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Okay, story time. So, picture the year 1987. There I am, as a youngin, sitting on the John. Flipping TMI. <laughs> flipping through the magazines, my, uh folks have, uh, you know, sitting in the bathroom. Hey, this is PG-13. <laughs> and there is an article in uh, National Geographic about the Appalachian Trail. And so that's the point where I uh, decided I was going to, uh, I was going to do it. So, you know, fast forward a couple years, somehow you were on board with this idea. Uh, Who, me? <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> Uh, so we had, uh, you know, most of our uh, wedding gifts were uh, hiking related stuff. Uh, we did our honeymoon on the uh, on the AT. 75 miles in Virginia. Nope, yeah. North Carolina, Tennessee. What state were we in? <laughs> All of the above. Uh, turned in our uh, notice for our jobs because we're uh, all set to uh, do a northbound. But, uh, you know, life had different plans for us. Yay, so. Sheamus! We love you! <laughs> so we decided, you know, that it no longer made sense when we were going to, uh, you know, have a kid on the way. So we had to had to cancel that trip. So now we uh, fast forward a whole lot more later, years later. And uh, here we are, driving up to, to Maine. Pretty wild. Are you ready? Yeah, I think we're ready. Is it are we on the trail yet? <laughs> Day and a half, baby. Day and a half. Day and a half. Okay, so we'll see how it works out. See ya. Made it to the Bangor Airport. <laughs> yeah. This is our first hike of the uh, trip, I guess. I don't know, do we get to count it as uh, pack miles? Yeah. Nope, no pack miles. Zero. Since it's still uh, day zero, okay. Well, we're on our way from the airport to the Sear bus line to begin the next leg of our trip. Okay.
the end of day zero recap. Uh, we got up to Maine yesterday, uh, hung out at the AT Lodge today. Um, just getting our gear in order, getting some food, finishing up whatever we needed to do. And we're headed out at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning to uh, Baxter State Park to uh, start the actual hike. It's time, man. Let's get it done. You ready, Wait. baby? Yeah, as long as I don't have to wake up at 5 o'clock. So. 5.30? Yeah, yeah. Eat some breakfast before we get on the road. We did make a decision today, which won't matter to anybody else out there, but it mattered to us. We're going to go up a different trail tomorrow called the Able Trail to the peak of Katahdin, which is where the AT starts uh, on the summit. Mm -hmm. And then we will come down the Hunt Trail, which is the Appalachian Trail. So instead of going up and down the Appalachian Trail, we're going to go a different one just to mix it up a little bit. Mixing it up early on. <laughs> yeah. And I did need to set the record straight just a wee bit on story time about where the idea for the AT hike came from. Absolutely came from Jimmy. I don't know where he was sitting on what toilet or what magazine he was reading. Don't care. But uh, he definitely got me into it. Um, I will say over the years that we were raising our kids, it came and went. Um, more or less serious. Um, but when we moved to New York, we put it on a license plate or two. Uh, when we decided to move to Tennessee, it was something I negotiated into my contract to have a leave of absence to do this. Um, so I think uh, it's been important to both of us for at least the last five to ten years um, in getting it done. And it's kind of exciting, a little bit scary, that we're finally uh, here and, and ready to hit the road and get it done. One Sounds last time, good. are we ready? I think we're ready. We're ready. Yep. I, I guess I, I do want to add in also, uh -oh. um, just for my mom, that you, you started this us off on this video asking if we were or saying we we're going to run into some kooks and we should remember them. <laughs> I, I'd say mm -hmm. three seconds into walking into the lodge last <laughs> night, we met our first couple kooks. So we'll that, tell you those stories later <laughs> when it's not a matter of public record. <laughs> All okay. right, guys, here See we ya. go. Bye.